Welcome to Hypercoagulable States. In this video, we will be discussing the prothrombin G mutation. Let's start with a few take-home points. Prothrombin is the precursor to thrombin. Although the mechanism is not fully understood, the prothrombin gene mutation likely increases prothrombin levels. Heterozygotes have three to four times increased venous thromboembolism risk. Let's walk through the coagulation cascade, starting with the extrinsic pathway. Endothelial injury exposes tissue factor, which combines with factor 7 to become activated factor 7A. The tissue factor 7A complex acts on factor 10 and converts it to factor 10A. Factor 10A has as its cofactor factor 8A, and this cofactor helps factor 10A convert prothrombin to thrombin. Thrombin, in turn, is generated through the intrinsic pathway, starting with coagulation factor 12, which activates factor 11, which in turn activates factor 9A, and 9A works with its cofactor 8A to activate 10 to 10A. There is also crosstalk between the pathways, and the tissue factor 7A complex also activates factor 9A. With both the extrinsic and intrinsic pathways generating thrombin, Thrombin is able to convert fibrinogen to fibrin. Fibrin monomers polymerize, and through the action of factor 13, fibrin polymers are cross-linked. In a positive feedback loop, thrombin activates factor 11A, factor 8A, factor 5A, and factor 13A. Now, coming back to thrombin, we recall that in order to get thrombin, we start with prothrombin. Although the mechanism of action is not known, it is felt that the prothrombin gene mutation is an activating mutation of prothrombin that causes increased prothrombin activity, leading in turn to increased thrombin generation and therefore increased thrombosis risk. Let's now discuss the clinical features of the prothrombin gene mutation. The most common prothrombin gene mutation results from a substitution of adenine for guanine at position 20210 in a non-coding region of the gene. Most individuals with the G20210A mutation are heterozygous, with a three to four-fold increased thrombosis risk when compared with the general population. Homozygotes are known to be higher risk, but the relative risk is not well quantified. Clinical presentations of the prothrombin gene mutation include venous thromboembolism, manifested as deep vein thrombosis and or pulmonary embolism. Patients also present with cerebral vein thrombosis and mesenteric, portal, or hepatic vein thrombosis. In summary, prothrombin is a precursor protein to thrombin. Although the mechanism of action is not understood, the prothrombin gene mutation likely increases prothrombin levels. In prothrombin gene mutation heterozygotes have three to four times increased venous thromboembolism risk. This ends the video on hypercoagulable states, the prothrombin gene mutation.